again, One Church. I'm thinking today, and you may have already seen this on social media and via email, about a season of prayer. And I wonder when you hear that word season, what it makes you think of. Summer, spring, autumn, winter? For all maybe, for some of you, maybe just Christmas, the Christmas season. But when we reflect so far, 2020 has been a year, a time, a season, really like no other that we remember. Recently, Pastor Marcus has been speaking to us that he has a sense that as a church, as individuals, and even as a nation, we've just been surviving. And his thought has been, and somewhat a challenge too, is that individually, church and even nation we need to move from surviving to thriving you know that's the season a season of thriving and at one church god has made so many promises that i want us to move into as we thrive but when we start to consider this all of church history shows us that thriving or growing revival new seasons always start with prayer so this week, I want to encourage you individually that you will enter a season where you're communing with God, you're chatting to him, you're talking to him, where your encounters with Jesus, where you're equipping by the Holy Spirit, become something new and fresh, exciting, rewarding, and indeed does equip us to thrive. There's ways that you can enter into prayer, different things that you might find helpful. I want to encourage you two things. If you haven't already listened to our Apostle Tim Jack's word at the prayer evening on the 29th of October, go back and listen as he speaks on Teach Us How to Pray. You know, we've been blessed that in just a few days we've heard from two apostles. You know, why not go back, listen again or for the first time to what Peter Prothero brought us on Sunday about how we can reflect Jesus in times of pressure. So I just want to encourage you, why not find a way to pray in a new way? Maybe join others with prayer. Maybe you should now be thinking, I need a prayer partner, someone who's going to pray with me maybe for an hour once a week. But whatever you do, start talking to Jesus regularly, fervently, frequently. You know, he's your saviour, your provider, your deliverer, and amazingly, your friend. So one church, as we enter a season of prayer, in this strange season, particularly as we enter in lockdown again, I just really ask you, find time to make this a season of prayer. God bless, see you soon.